Hi, it's Lori the Upper Goddess, and see what I got here? The cheapest vodka known to man. And what do you think we're going to get out of this besides a hangover? Well, no, I'm not going to get a hangover. Doubt it, because I don't drink this. I, I'm a wine girl here. Hang on one minute. It's Friday night, and I just got done with work. And what we're going to do tonight is we're making vanilla extract. And if you don't think you can make the best vanilla extract ever, well, I hate to tell you, you're wrong because I was just looking at it in the store and for four ounces of extract, it can range from $4 to $10, you know, depending on the quality of the extract you buy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make our own. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this vodka and you're going to pour three quarters of a cup. Okay, and you're just going to dump it in your mason jar. And you need to buy these vanilla beans. And I get these at the food co-op. Um, there's also a new spice store, I think, too, in Marquette. Um, I haven't been there yet, but I'm going to go check it out. But these are only $1.79 each. Okay, so I'm going to say that this whole thing of extract when you get done making it is going to cost five dollars maybe and you get like way way more than if you bought a little tiny thing from the store so what you're going to do is you're going to take your pod here you're going to cut it in half so you should have a really sharp knife for this and i use the back of my knife you got to kind of open this up and there's just tons of these little seeds in here that you're going to scrape out, see? And then you're just going to put them in your jar. See, once you get it open, look at how beautiful. Oh my God, that is so good. That is all vanilla goodness. So you are going to scrape out these three pods. And you know what, you can use probably other alcohols to make this, but um, you want to use vodka because it doesn't, you know, it has a taste, but it doesn't have a taste like rum or like brandy or Captain Morgan. <laughs> um, so when you get this, you, it's all cleaned out and you're going to cut this in pieces. Okay. That was really hard. Eh? <laughs> and you're pouring, you're just going to dump that right in there. So you're going to do this to all three of them. And uh, after you get all three of them in here, you're going to put the cover on. And this is that, you know, these canning jars that I told you, you know, to buy. You're going to shake this up. Okay. That has, this has to sit for eight weeks. And after eight weeks, look at how beautiful. There's your vanilla extract. It's gorgeous. When you put this like in your baked goods, when you're making cookies, you can see the beans in there. I mean, it's awesome. But one other thing I want to show you, when this, when this vanilla extract is all gone, or even, you know, I might cut up the pod on two of these and put it in my extract, and one of them, I'm going to put in a thing of sugar, okay? Now, I don't know if you make ice cream or whatever, but if you're a baker, this turns into vanilla sugar, and it makes the most delicious ice cream. It's just, it's so good, and you can just smell it. Oh, it smells so good. So there's two things you can do with these. Get your extract and get your vanilla sugar, and you can't, you can't go wrong. It's cheaper and it's better for you and if I hear you say you buy that artificially flavored vanilla extract oh my god or if you say you don't have time you just saw it took like two minutes for me to do this and you're gonna give this a good shake every week just go well, as you walk by it just give it a good shake and before you know it it's gonna be nice and dark if you say you can't do it well doubt it cuz I know you can so until next time keep smiling love ya